What is up guys, welcome to another European of a size follow let's play. As the Hanser, unfortunately because they're the only decent merchant republic in northern Germany, and the only one, really, but that's not the point. But anyway, I'm joined with my friend James, also known as whatever his YouTube name is, because honestly I can't pronounce it. Yay, Ratchet. And Poland. And yes. This is the Polish Hanseatic Alliance, as name given by Diego Costa, or Costa, or however you pronounce his name. You know who you are because you're an amazing democracy free mod maker, but that's not the point. Uh, but anyway, we've, got, we've decided this because I want to play as a Merchant Republic and own everyone's money. And as with Res Republica, it's kind of fitting to play as a Republic because we've got loads of shit that I've not done in the base game of EU4 as a Republic. But anyway, let's make people hate me because that's my favorite thing in the world to do. Brunswick, yeah, hate I me. hate you. So James, everyone hates you. That's not the point there. <laughs> anyway, guys, James's channel will be in the description for you to go look at. It's shit, but eh. You go with Fuck what you're given, don't you? Okay. Oh, I'm such a douche. I love it. Um, where, what was I doing? I was doing That's something. Good. First things first. Um, if I remember correctly, we get new ships pretty quickly. Yeah, I think you do. No, nine's not quickly. So for the next first 25 years, I'm going to have to go with extra military power and a bit less diplomatic power, purely because... I don't need all these alliances I have. Nobody cares about them, so which one do I want to get rid of first? Bremen, as soon as you hate me, the, you like me the least, you're officially my first uh, uh, vassal target. Uh, well, Riga, Riga kind of sucks. Uh, Riga kind of sucks. Right. Um, I have 8,000 men, and I can go up to 11. I can have 27 boats as well. I also have 9 trade boats, which is my OCD fucking annoyed now. So, first things first, I'm going to make a bark. You make that bark, And I'm Joe. also going to delete one of these um, galleys because it just doesn't look right with how many... There we go. Let's put these navies together just because I like to make sure my fleet is protected. Um, so, long-term game plan for me is to basically just form Germany and have fun playing as Germany. My long-term goal is to take over Russia. Fuck yeah. Nobody wants Russia. I, I want Russia. Never start a land war in Russia in the winter. As a oh, tale why, that why everyone would... should know. Yeah, the only person who ever was able to do it was the Mongols. And do I look like the Mongols to you? Do you really want me to answer that question? Because you do look dirty and unwashed. I'm just gonna just gonna go while we're recording. Just gonna walk out of the room. Next on it before it doesn't annoy me. Okay. Anyway, guys, we're gonna start the uh, time now. So let's do that. I'm gonna have it one speed probably for a few months just to. Ensure we do, but the first thing is we I've never done completely as a, as the faction screen at the moment because well it's new to me, but we do have the aristocrats going up, uh, the nave, uh, the traders going up, and the guilds going down currently. Okay, um, I need but to. But one thing I do want in power is the traders, so I'm going to push them into power for now, which gives us global trade power, naval maintenance, but national man t tax modifier goes down. But we're a trade merchant republic, that's natural. We want as much money as we can just from. Well, trade, really. That's what we're here for. We're here to take everyone's money. I mean, he's gonna, help people. He's going to try and take my money, too. I'm going to take your money. My money. I make more money than you currently. Um, I make 5 gold, 5.87 gold a month. How the fuck did you... Oh, you're trading Trade ship. Republic! It, trading Suck ship, right. <laughs> this is why you, the Hanser is overpowered as fuck. But they, <laughs> they can get hollowed by Austria, which will happen quite often. But as that's where we are. Uh, he is playing Poland. Uh -huh. Because we wanted a more of a laid-back game instead of what the like a lot of the YouTubers do when they try to do something that's done been done so many fat hundreds of times they act as if they've done it the first time and they they're better than everyone. But we just we know this Germany's been formed by everyone. We all know this. People's mothers could probably form Germany. It's pretty easy. But it's just wow. because we want the fun. That's all we play it for. We just want the fun. So the, yeah, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, pretty much. People have done it before. I've done it before. My first one of my first my first EU three let's play technically after Japan. On the divine wind was the Hanser. So I've easily done it before. No, I'm fucking. Oh, you yeah, Hanser. I don't say every year. Like that's I said, right. I've done it before. And it's not every year, it's every five years, James. Oh. I don't like it being every year. It does, it does my head in. So basically, I'm just going to try and consolidate power around me and wait until the uh, uh, biggest and worst event in this game, which is the. Uh, uh, Reformation. Because oh, yeah. the Reformation is quite a bitch in Northern Germany. Because 
unfortunately, it started in northern Germany, in Saxony, which is the most annoying part. So, Venice has declared war against Cyprus. That sounds fair to me. Venice is not... A... The good thing about uh, the South is that Genoa and Venice are like competing for trade dominance. Yet no one's going to annoy me for my trade. Yeah, no yeah. Merchants. Gotland doesn't exist, so... Not yet. Mm, but it they might... Actually, no, it's Pretender Rebel, so it probably won't yet. Yeah. It, pre it, could, it could happen, but I do have 36% uh, of my trade node, and that's only with nine trade ships and three provinces in that node. Um, so, um, I'm going to currently go and just integrate Mazovia, uh, because that's what you usually go for currently as Poland. So uh, you, you go back on commentating your end of the side, because most people have already seen Poland's let's plays. Most people have seen the Hansel let's plays, but we're not doing this for people. We're just playing a game together, really. That's about it. Oh, uh, no, shot my hand. I think I'm going to give another <laughs> couple of set of influence to traders just to make sure they stay in power for a bit longer because they are by far my favorite of these powers at the moment because, well, we're trade. We need the traders in power because that just makes so much... It makes all of the sense that we have. We want the traders there. Lithuania's trying to take a freaking cardinal. What dicks? I know. I'm they're, just, I'm they're not I'm supposed to. I'm going to take that Livonian one because he's only 53. Right. Actually, no, I don't want him. I want the English one because he's the youngest. I don't. I don't think I could beat England for it, but I will be into it. It's eventualities I care about. Yeah. yeah, try, 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 Joe, try. I don't care. If also, I don't get also start speaking English. That'll also help. I am speaking English. What do you want about? I, I know. I know. Speak English. Uh, let's I boost our stability up because at the moment I don't give a shit about this idea, the idea slot because all I'll be going for is trade. Which gives me loads of free shit, but that's about it. Advisors. Military advisor. No. Nope. By the you, way, I intend to make crack the Krakow trade node even poorer than it is. Alright. Just letting you know, because that's kind of your trade node. Mm hmm. So I intend to make that very, very poor. I don't really care. Because it's all going to be going into where I live. The beautiful Lubeck, which is currently making 11. It's currently the richest trade node in the north. Actually, in Europe. Yeah, it is. It's more. It's that better than Venice and Venice and Genoa. Genoa. Wow. Yeah, but Venice will be. Venice is all end game, and just like Sevilla and Antwerp, and they're end game and game like nodes because they are sinkholes. Yeah. So they eventually, they at the beginning, I will be rich as hell, and I have to make sure that I stay rich as hell by expanding and forming a production base. Which, um, which is when I probably want the guilds in charge because they will give me more production based uh, usefulness. Uh huh. See, I'm good at this game. <laughs> I, I know my, I know what I'm doing, bitches. So, sorry, sorry, I, I just. Something just, you know, t came over me. I had to, I had to laugh a little bit. Just a little bit. I sent you an insult because you're being a knob. Now you have to get your relations back up with us. I have to get my relations back up with you now. Ah, oh, you bitch. It was worth it. <laughs> yeah, but now you're going to be wasting a diplomat. Sorry? <laughs> have fun. I don't care. I only need one. I'm using two. I'm using one currently on my um, Mecklenburg uh, war, which um, I'm, I kind of... Now I think about it, I probably needed you for that. Wait a minute. Am I not? Oh, I have, I'll have a reason, and they have no alliances, so I'll be able to go straight toward them and destroy them, so it's no problem. Okay. I will, in the meantime, make my relations back up with you. Are you sure you want to do that? Uh, you're useful. Oh, that's lovely. That's, that's all I'm. That's all. That's all I am. Lithuania is about to get its ass kicked out of uh, by Novgorod, and or actually Muscovy. It looks like no Novgorod, because they don't. Understand that allies exist for a reason. Neither does Mech Oh no, Mecklenburg's got the Teutonic Order on its side. So you wanted me, right? No, the Teutonic Order can't do shit against me. Mm, Dude, I have my true, Pact true. of Alliances, remember? My mm -hmm. Pact of Alliances are evil. Livonian Order, Mecklenburg, Hungary. Yeah, that'd actually be more bad for me. More my, bad. My alliances are a lot stronger than. Oh shit, they've got Hungary. Well, yeah. I didn't think about this one. 
No. Huh. Shit. <laughs> you want to go to war with Poland? Uh, uh, what's it called, don't you? To who? You want to go to war with them, don't you? Who? Hungary. Uh, you want crack, son? No, but you're gonna. As soon as I get my alliance back with you, you're going to war with them. Mm, okay. Let me get my economy up a little bit. As soon as all I need to do is beat Teutonic Order up. Yay! I've done what I do quite often in video games. Forget to check the alliances of the people who I know are going to get to take over the war. Yeah. It's a common problem I have. Uh, I'd, I'd rather lose money than anything else currently. Let's see, where's Hungary? But then again, as soon as I have a lot of money, I could probably just beat them with men. Sure. sure Hungary has 13,000 troops. Yeah, I can fuck them up. Easy enough. Well, I see. Oh, shit, here we go. I've got an event. Do you have an event? International Guild Contracts. I'm not going to read it because there's no reason to. Mm. But basically, either the aristocrats or the uh, diplomats, the guilds, gain a uh, bonus. Well, as soon as I don't want a suspended diplomat, I'll uh, give the guild some leeway. Which means the aristocrats are now the lowest, and um, yeah, the traders are still 15 up from everyone from uh, the guild. So we're all good there. Wow. What? Got a four shock general to start out with. Nice one. I got a uh, one two one one. I got a zero four zero zero. Yeah, at least mine one's well. Mine's more well rounded, at least. Yeah. But we all know shock at the beginning of the game is great. It is, but maneuver also is very great at the beginning of the game. So, mm. true, true. I am guaranteeing so you because siege. it speeds up relations. Yes, yes, it does. And I'm also going to ask you for an, uh, a military access because that will also speed up relations very quickly. Oh, I've just Let's realized something. Boats, sit there. Ha ha ha! Fuck you. Ah, I love saying fuck you. To oh shit! The Tonic Order has 18 boats. What the fuck did they get them from? Uh, Danzig? Luckily, luckily, my boats are of course better because I'm a fucking merchant republic. You wouldn't expect my boats to be shitter than someone who's not a merchant republic, wouldn't you? Yeah. I accidentally, um, said no. Oh, there we go. It's fine now. Okay. Ah, um. You like alliances, Joe? I do. I found my military. You want me to fight Hungary, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I okay. lost that naval battle. They brought in friends. Moldavia is going to help me um, with Hungary. I went down to four boats now. Well, oh, wow. I didn't half get bullshit in that war. In that fight. You, oh, it was just your trade ships. You should have bought, uh, built some more. Uh, it was my trade ships and my galleys. Luckily, I'm rich, so. Yeah. Well, I will be rich after this war. No, oh, there goes my vassal getting absolutely butt fucked. Come on, little vassal, stop getting well, butt fucked. I'm raising war taxes because um, preferably I need them. Screw military power. Mm, I, it's only fifty for now, and I gain seven a month. So I mean, it's not as if I needed them. Hmm. If you want to just like siege the Teutonic Order, that'll be fine. I'm taking out Hungary's now, I'm army. A two star general. He's a four four four. Jesus Christ! Do not attack that. Do oh not my want God. to. He's a four four four. If he gets reinforcements, he will. F oh no, his reinforcements fucked up. Doesn't matter. Come on, take out this stack before they get reinforcements. Good. The fact that he took his fucking massive ten k stack from a four 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 general when he he would have destroyed you. No matter how late he came, he would have murdered you. Was so stupid. I don't. I can't even comprehend how stupid that was of the AI. What? A four 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 would have destroyed you even if the reinforcements came when he had literally no morale. Yeah. Just because the ma massively increasing troops would have cr cr just you would have been killed. Fucking well done. Yeah. Game. This, this game. You get that. It, this uh this game hungry hungry really bad supply limits run away. Yeah. Don't seize them. Seize the Teutonic Order. Yeah. I I took out hungry. I just army wanted anyway. you to destroy their army to be honest. Yeah. That's all I did. Um. You can try and get Danzig or something from this war as well. Yeah, but uh, okay, Matt, nothing too. Magdeburg isn't going to stay there. I'm I'm annexing Mecklenburg. I'm not. Taking I have a claim battle. on Danzig, so. 
Yeah, you can take I... that for now. But uh, per I do want it back in the future as uh, because it's useful for trade. Mm -hmm. Pomerani also has a claim on it. And as I said, I'm going to be the one funding you fighting everyone because that's more fu that make means I don't have to do much. And I can, can, just... we, can we get Madgeberg out of this war anyway? Madgeberg. In any any sense? Who? Oh, my ally. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's one way of me moving them. Why? Okay. Can you do that? Because they're currently oh, the leader. They're moving. They're moving. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to go help with that. I'm not. I don't need to, actually. Stay. Ah, uh, they annexed Riga. Oh, well, I lost one of my allies. No, they annexed... By what? The way, oh, they did. Dude, have you got your power? Turn your sound down a bit, because I can hear myself a bit. Oh, okay. So just turn it down so you I don't hear that repeat. Um... Okay. Just a bit. Uh-oh, you're out. Oh, shit, dude. 10k massive fight. What? Where? I was tabbed out. I bring 5k with a general. That's about it. Just send your troops to that. Send your troops to Colm in a minute. Okay. Now. Go now. Now, now, now. Yep, yeah, yep. I don't, we don't, it doesn't matter if we're attacking. We have superiority with troops. Mm -hmm. And the Hans has joined, so I mean, we obviously won this fight. What? I joined, therefore we win. I, that's how oh, it goes. Okay. I don't think it is, but okay. Well, I don't care how you feel. Get, get Madgebury the fuck away from Danzig. I'm going to fuck them up later if they don't. No, you're not. They're my ally. And I'm going to fuck them up because I want them. Alright, well then get them the fuck out of Danzig. They don't deserve to stay. You mean like that? Yeah. I, oh shit, that's, there's a... Uh, uh, dude, we're going to get attacked by... Uh, uh, oh, actually, Hungary? No. Yeah, Hungary has the amazing general with them as well. Oh, that's a bit shit. They're king, nonetheless. Oh, come on. Reinforce. Did we do it? I think we did it. Nope. We're fucked. Oh, that sucks. Joe? We have more morale than them, you know. Yeah. We did it. Oh, yeah. I was thinking that we were going to do it. But um, I was thinking that that uh, 6k stack there would, would reinforce and we'd be fucked. That, that stack's going towards my army. Please run towards my men. Please run to Pozan. Um, Please run to Pozan. Just keep where? away from my 5k. Okay, I'm moving my men back to my 5k so I don't actually lose that that siege. So we, I can actually get 10% war score and get um, Mecklenburg. Why, why this fuck does... Oh, God. Oh, Mazovia is sieging this. I can leave. Yeah, come to um, Newmark. Newmark. Yeah, that's going through Pozan, which hopefully you'll hit them. Oh, no, you got away. They got away. Stay okay, there. no, staying in Danzig. Stay in Danzig. Yeah, I'll send another... What? Army. Why are they... Oh, okay. Alright, now I understand. We're getting fucked. <laughs> oh, God. Um, there goes my army. Um, shit, I actually can't get this to 10% war score without that army you had. Well, I'm running away for a bit. Um... Hmm, what can I do? Diplomatic map mood. Okay, right. I have an even better general now. I have a one, two, three, two, which means my siege is even better. That's opinion. No. I've told my vassals to attack, uh, my allies to attach to my unit, so you can basically just have a massive bumper unit of twelve thousand men sat here at all times. That war doesn't look very good. All right. No, I'm not losing a stability. Uh, it is for prestige. Sure. Okay, um, mercenaries. Give me mercenaries. Why would you want other concessions than gold? Gold's amazing. <laughs> I have a lot of gold, except my gold, you pricks. Uh, we can't separate piece them. You're not Shit. separate piecing them. I was thinking we would separate piece Hungary or something. Yeah, I was going to try and separate piece Hungary, but... As I'm the Livonia, you're not a vassal, are you? No, you're not. Do you want to do just like accept my concession of defeat? You don't. Do you just want to like shut the fuck up and walk the fuck home, Livonian order, please? No. Okay. If, they, no. if actually I have seventeen thousand men, if you can build up a sizable army in the south, we can actually take out their army. Yeah, actually, yeah I, can, no I can do that. Mm, their generals a zero one zero zero. It's just if Hungary gets involved, I'll have a problem. Actually, we're over eleven percent now. They might just give me. No, they won't, because... Actually, no, you dude, if we just sit here for a while, I'll get my ticking war score and we'll be able to win. Apparently, I've sieged um, a little bit of Hungary that I don't know I sieged. Mado Madovia. Moldovia. Uh, no, Moldavia. Moldavia. 
I see Jmarim and where is the Yeah, Moldavia there. sieged it for you. Your, your vassal? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Moldavia. Love you. Keep doing Kisses what you're doing. Hugs. Keep doing exactly what you're doing in the south. But anyway, guys, we are going to have to end this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series, and we will continue it, of course. Uh, do you want to say anything, dude? Um, nothing, really, honestly. It's um, going, going great. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later.